Hello and welcome to the section 5.2 application walkthrough. Uh, in this section we worked a lot with slope and so we're going to have some application problems that deal with slope. Now for the first set of problems they give us the slope and they've left a coordinate missing. Alright so what you want to do is you want to use your your slope formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, we're going to use that formula to figure out these problems. I'm going to call this one my x2, y2, and this will be my x1, yeah, that's an x1, y1, okay? And it doesn't really matter which order you do it in, but I'll show you why I did it that way. Slope is 2, so I'm just going to replace the m with 2. Uh, y2 is y minus y1 is 5 over x2 is 2 minus 4. I'm going to go ahead and simplify the bottom. So I have 2 equals y minus 5 over 2 minus, uh, 2 minus 4 is negative 2. I can now multiply a negative 2. So here we're just going to solve this equation. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And that's going to leave us with y minus 5. So then we'd add 5 to both sides. And I'm going to rewrite it up here. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. So y equals 1. Okay. So those are a little bit tougher problems. But I think you can do them. Okay, I'm going to leave the rest of them to you. Notice that in all these problems, we are missing the y coordinate, which is good. That means that your variable is going to be on top uh, of each, of each, uh, sorry, your variable is going to be on top of each fraction. Um, and, and I would do what I can to put the y first, or the, you know, the, the variable that you're going to have first. So I'd make all these y's, I'd make b, this point my twos, okay, and this point my ones. Just because that way your y leads it off and you're not subtracting your y. All right? You can do it either way, but I'm just telling you that way is a little bit easier. Okay, let's look at the next problem. So it says you're parachuting at t equals 0 seconds. You're, you open your parachute at a height of 2,500 feet. And that's above the ground. And at t equals 35 seconds, you're at a height of... Uh, 2,115 feet. So that's this point right here. Okay, use this graph. It definitely helps. So to find your rate of change, you're going to be looking at your slope. So just give it a y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, and then the next question says about when will you reach the ground. You're going to have to use your slope and see what happens when you do your slope again. You can extend your graph if you want to. Um, and really, you're just approximating. Okay? But I'm going to leave that one to you. I think that you can do it. Let's go ahead and look at the last one here. So it says the U.S. Department of Transportation requires surveyors to place signs on steep sections of roads. The grade of a road is measured as a percent. Okay? And so what that means is, for instance, the grade of the road shown at the right over here is 6%. Okay, and that means that in 50 feet, it goes down 3 feet. Okay, now I want you to find the slope and express the, re the relationship between road grade and slope. So just to make sure that we're all on the same page, we can go and find the slope. And really what you're looking at is rise over run. Okay, it, it rises or it, it goes, uh, we're going to go from left to right here. So we could think of this as point zero zero, And this right here as the point 50, comma 3. So you could say that the slope equals, uh, let's go y2 is 3. So let's go 3 minus 0 over 50 minus 0. And so my slope is 3 over 50. Okay. So that's my slope of that, of that picture. 
And now I want you to try to figure out what would be the relationship between road grade and slope. Okay, if you need help with that, uh, make sure that you try it. But if you need help with it, you can always come and ask me. Okay, but I do want you to try to figure that one out on your own and then come and ask me. All right, so make sure that we're getting these problems done. They're really good problems. I know that they're a little bit tough, but I want to make you think. Okay, I'm making you think for really five problems here. So good luck on that. Good luck on the mastery challenge, and we'll see you out there.